The temperatures also dropped down this far. With the water temperature being as low as 35 degrees Fahrenheit or around 2.5 degrees Celsius, I believe. So right above freezing, but not quite there. Yeah, so the, the hallmark of kind of like the start of the bath apologic zone is actually that light doesn't travel really past a thousand meters. So yeah, we're in like, we're in dark land over here. Um, so that's why, oh, saw a little squid. But um, that's why there's not as many, I guess, visible organisms here. The density is mostly in, well, for what we can see, there's a really there's a much higher density of um, megafauna in the photic zone, as well as other things that we can't see. But yeah, not a lot of niches to be found in the in the mid water columns. So that's why um, things get a little bit less less dense with less light. We are about ten minutes from the bottom. Woohoo! Traveling fast. I think it's okay. So another feature of us descending down to deep ocean is the uh, incline of pressure. So as we descend, we have more water that sits above us, which puts a lot more pressure the farther down we go. And so we have a little experiment on board on for, on for this dive that uh, is a demonstration of just what pressure does at these depths. So we all made these uh, little artistic styrofoam cups that we put in a mesh bag aboard our ROVs. And as we descend, these styrofoam cups will actually begin to shrink with the increased pressure. So down in the bathypelagic zone, or the midnight zone, the pressure can be over 5,850 pounds per square inch. And I'm not sure how much that is in metric units, but that's pretty dense. So as we descend further and further, we may be witnessing a very interesting experiment of these cups going from large size down to a shrunk size. And it's because of this increased pressure that we have to build our ROVs to withstand it. So our ROV Hercules is built to withstand up to 4,000 meters of uh, water. And we also have other ROVs like Little Hercules that can go down farther to about 6,000 meters. Yeah, I'm sad I didn't quite get my cup in this morning, but I'm assuming we have at least one dive left. So what happened? I wasn't awake. Oh, sorry. That's during. <laughs> yeah, I would say me sleep. neither. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they were like, they were like, oh yeah, just like 45 minutes ago they told us, and I was like, oh, well. That's I know. I, 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 I also woke up to you missed the cup project. I oh. know. I saw <laughs> the sharpies oh, out, and I was like, you're guys. joking. I was say, they were just sat in front of me. I meant to say something me. last yeah. night, but um, <laughs> it, um, I forgot, right. and I told everyone early this morning. It's okay. It's okay. I did knock on your door this morning to try and see if you wanted to get up. I <laughs> did not hear you. <laughs> we, we can probably do another one. It just might not be this deep. Oh, this yeah, deep, no, so. of course. Mm -hmm. well, it'll be cool to see, like, the difference. At the uh, yeah, that's yeah. good. That yeah, is true. That would be another cool experiment. Just one cup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, I mean, I'm still thinking about sacrificing my Crocs, but I don't think, <laughs> I don't, th I don't know if this type of material would shrink, but that's, I mean, that's you the want to send your Croc down to the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> Look, just one to see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would definitely do two. I would really? definitely do both if there was room. Yeah, because it's like, what am I going to do with one shrunken croc if it does? Well, what are you going to do with two shrunken crocs? <laughs> <laughs> they won't fit anymore. <laughs> my, my cat? What am I going to do with one, though? <laughs> well, like just to have the comparison, it'd be kind of cool. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, if crocs have, like, air in their styrofoam, they should shrink. Realistically, true. Um, should compress. 
but we'll see. Although, Sarah, if it if your Crocs if you put them both in, they both shrink a lot, and they fit your cat. Oh man! I so was cute. literally just about to bring that up, but I didn't uh, want to seem like the crazy cat lady again. It's okay. Let's embrace our crazy cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> I bought my dog some shoes. It didn't go well. He did not like them. <laughs> yeah, no, she, mm, no, she wouldn't wear them, but like, come on, they're like cheetah print, so it'd make it even better. That's but it's so funny, because he likes wearing the little socks that come like, the little socks. He wears the socks, but he won't wear like the shoes. Mm. Somebody suggested even sending a dollar down, like a dollar bill. <laughs> that might actually shrink up. Hmm. Yeah, it's not paper. Yeah, when know. you take it back up, it'll be worth a million dollars. Have you guys seen like like the scuba diving videos where you take like a like just a plastic water bottle, an empty plastic water bottle, and like you go down and it like shrinks and then you go back up and it expands again. I have yeah. seen that, yeah. Like people do that in really deep pools too. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like many people think it would explode, but all that pressure is actually condensing all that air. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how we're able to get vast volumes of air into scuba tanks. We're literally just compressing it. For about five minutes. Next five minutes. So, bets, is it going to be sandy, rocky, mud, combination? Mm. I'm going to vote combo. Part of me wants to say combo as well, but I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be just sandy. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to go with sandy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with like sand, mud. Mud. Probably more muddy than sandy, but yeah, um, oh. I think we'll have some rocks. We'll see. It's uh, it's not incredibly steep, but it um, it does rise up to this mound. So. Oh yeah. right. So being deeper, maybe we'll have some more. How do I call it? Less chaotic push cores. Yeah, I was just gonna say maybe we could do push cores. <laughs> <laughs> that would be part of our agenda if we could. Let's just sand just leaking out as soon as you lift it up. <laughs> I bet we're going to land right on top of a sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> but this time it'll be green. It'll be green. I don't, cucumber. honestly, like, I almost never see, like, green creatures at this depth, um, which makes sense because they would be technically, like, more visible than any other color, but we did see that one, like, green thing on one of our other watches. No idea what that was, but it was, like, green and, like, a deep green on around its, like, Really? Was it a coral? And oh, yeah. No. It looked, like, squishy. Like maybe like a a worm or something, but not even like a worm. I don't know. We didn't. We couldn't get a good look at it. A sea but. slug maybe. All right, we're approaching the bottom here now. We got 80 meters on the altimeter, and starting to see returns in the sonar there. No need time to uh, work through getting to the bottom. Did uh, Michael, did Robert tell you about the mesh bag problem? And I don't know. Yeah, I can see it on the porch there. I don't know. When we get situated, they, they yeah. there's a little bit of 
There's some issues on the launch there between the winch and up here and stuff. So there's a, there's yeah. potentially a turn in here I want to take out or investigate. And then that thing, I don't know if we want to just put it in the sidecar for now. Yeah, that's probably that probably makes sense. We don't want it yeah. floating up in front of our view or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. We we'll just get Unless situated. Unless you can get that bungee back on it or somehow, but I, I'm not sure that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what they. Yeah. We'll sort it out. We'll get the get the vehicles aligned here first. We'll take a look at it. Boy, winch. Uh, I mean, uh, wire cam is. <laughs> bit of an issue yeah not super useful uh, you can see it in there can you oh yeah I do at the top yeah oh yeah you can see it oh that's good We're getting uh, to parts of the winch that haven't been unwrapped in a while. Bring her down to like 15, 10. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Leave it there. Mud and rock, yeah. it looks like. We'll see. Combo for the win. <laughs> you caught it. Sea cucumber. Cheyenne, by the way, our second waypoint, um, we, we kind of want a waypoint on top of the mound. I don't think we have one there, just so, you're, just so you know. Yep. Yeah, the waypoint, yeah, so if you want to add a waypoint or something, that's fine. Sounds good. Head towards the mound. It should be, it should be a good direction. Yep. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, port or starboard? I think port. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see as we go. You think you do have a wrap? It's not a real one. They've they've gone. I don't, they've gone like they've let the whole works of it zing around in a full circle. Right. So it's like it's calling it a tether wrap, but it's not a tether wrap, right? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And the six eight counter is not making sense to me. Like it's, it wasn't zeroed. I don't think it doesn't line up. Hmm. So I'm just gonna go with whatever's closest here. Yes. Just let me know when you want me to start yeah, swinging. Yeah, okay. Spin around to... Uh, Spin around to uh, starboard. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 
tether looks okay. Yep. Coming around to 180. Something like that. What's the what's the heading do we want to go off on here? It'll do for the moment. And just come up a little bit. I just want to see the way the tether's yep. playing out there. Coming up. Probably something like 230. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Come up a little faster. Looks pretty steep here, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. I can tilt the camera down too. Yeah, I'll do check that. the whole thing. Yep. Here we go. Come on. There we go. How's the uh, still camera? Uh, looks fine. Keep an eye on it. It works though. Yeah, once I get closer. Okay, yeah. so um, Nav, have you have you switched over to DVL? Um, not yet. You All can right. do that anytime. That's as far back as she goes. Yeah, that looks long. great. Okay. okay. Notice that you push the button and it stops after so long. So probably so it doesn't run away. A little safety feature. Ooh, look at that guy. All right, I'll come down. Yeah. All right. All good. Okay, let's get ready to do the white balance. Um, so the scoop, scoop first, I guess. Um, right. Um, oh, you want to do it this thing here? Maybe just put it in the front drawer for now until we think we need to either use it or or throw samples on top of it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if that um, makes sense. Uh, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Maybe we'll see a little nodule field. There's some rocks to scoop, and then we can just put it away permanently. Yeah. Make a note where he puts it so the next watch knows. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Pulled it right off, huh? <laughs> no. It's no good. Yeah, so. Okay, it's, I'm going to get the bag stashed. in there. Yeah, Can we go it. box out? This thruster hazard here. Yep. Alright, stop there. I forgot, might push the other thing off the porch there. Okay, box in. Okay, that's okay on the box. That's good there. We're going to have to take it out again. Oh, really? Okay, box out. Box out. All 
All right, that's good. Does it go out anymore? There we go. Okay. That'll do. Ah. Close that, please. <laughs> My God, what a... <laughs> so light. There's no weight on it. I'm going to make a note for that, too, I think. Yeah, we'll try to get yep. a rock and throw it on top of it. Yeah. Oh, we need to do white balance. Okay. All right, I'm going to hand this watch over to Leela, and I'll join you guys tonight. Can you come up a little on Atlanta? The uh, Herc just floated up a bit. Yep. Coming up. And go ahead and zoom video. Okay. I'll just I'll just adjust the arm here in a minute. It's still racking the camera out. So we're going to go dark first. Come back. Whoa, that took a while. <laughs> All right, uh, for the white. Wonderful, thank you. And while we're getting situated, I just want to say a very happy birthday to my mom, Carol, and to my sister, Jenny. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday happy to happy Amber's birthday. family members. They birthday from Nautilus. Birthday? They do. That's sweet. <laughs> Orioles is happy birthday too. I'm sorry, we're coming down. It's okay. Imagine what a birthday gift that is to like have a daughter on your birthday. <laughs> wow. Well. We're we gonna go with two thirty degree heading? Uh two twenty five. Two twenty five. Okay. Okay, we we must go 0.2 knots because the current's kind of up. Okay. If we go with 225, but if we we don't have too much leeway with the degrees if we want to hit the top of the map. Ugh. Hold on here. Sorry. Ground. There you are. I'm just trying to get back to you here. It's okay. I haven't spun all the way yet, so that way I can just keep you in the cam at the moment. <coughs> okay, come on down. 
Okay. Okay. All right. I'm starting to spin. Uh, just pay out a few meters. Okay. And I can see one more thing I got to do, folks. The suction hose has been knocked off there as well. Probably when they were going for the basket or the scoop. I'll fix that. Okay, keep coming down a few more meters. Coming down. Is this going to hold? This auto depth is not right. working. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, yeah. It looks like it's tracking fine. It's fine by me if we carry on. Yep. All right, let's carry on then. Yeah, if you can message Lynette or, or talk down to Deb. She's in the um, data lab.
already seeing a fish, but it's kind of far away. Ooh, there's something floating. I don't know if we would get, probably One can't get a good zoom on that. Second, let's let oh. Hannaford get situated. It's okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to stretch it out there. So I'm just coming back and we'll go down. Yep. And then we'll no worries. start surveying from there. That one just hit above 12. Um, yeah, we're gonna see lots of those, I think. Okay. Cheyenne, you already put in a ship move, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Coming up. A Is there any way we could since we're getting close? Stop it. Uh, no, we're going down. Let me go down. Let you go down. Just okay. trying to get to the bottom and then survey up. Take yeah. a second. Okay. Uh, I th we're just. I think uh, it would be good before we're moving too much to see if there's a loose rock we can get. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Starting off strong with a rock. Great. Thank you so much, um, Deb. Keep coming down. Coming down. There we go. Not seeing a ton of loose, loose stuff yet. No. There was a bit lower down, but that was kind of far. Yeah, is there anything a little, yeah, lower where you're going? Mm. Yeah. I don't know if any of that is big. Oh, yeah, we're on maybe. a weird one. Trying, trying to get over and yeah, get a closer yeah. look. No worries. That in the back is probably just like cemented chunks exposed, but maybe something over there. Yeah, take a look at this stuff. Yeah. Looks like maybe a dead sponge stock right there. Mm. Yeah, maybe we can just poke around at some of that. Mm -hmm. This, for example, would be a good one. Maybe. Smaller than I thought. I can't tell if that crack. Cra do that crack? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's throw it down and try yeah. this bigger one. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, that one. 
one's not budging, is it? No. Um, there were some others for a little further to the left and down, I think. I don't know if that's out of your tether reach, but like you see that big, large boulder left of Atalanta. There was some kind of like at the base of that. Or sorry, right. left of Herc in Atlanta. We'll go look. Uh, we finished our ship move and we're stationary now. Okay, and I'm guessing that that'll take a while to swing in. Yeah. Yeah, some of those maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can really get in there, yeah, actually. Yeah, I know. I realize that's a tight spot. Not working out. Okay. can zoom around and see if there's anywhere else loose. Yep. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get over there. Maybe one of these ones? Yeah, is this not too tight for you? I don't know if we could no, look at that back there. Uh, yeah. Do you want to try one of the ones in front first? Sure, or we could try this one. It'd be easier now than to go back. Yep. There's one. <laughs> Massive. Pay out a, uh, you don't have much room. Pay mm -hmm. out a few meters. Okay. That'll do. Think of this. <clears throat> There's other candidates here, though. I think a lot of these look loose. Yeah, let's uh, maybe look for something that's not quite as flat. Yeah. Is that full wide? Okay. 
What about this one over here? Yeah, yeah. Let's look at that left. That's a bit of a stretch, though. Yeah, I'm not going to get that, I don't think. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. <clears throat> <Ooh. laughs> Just oh. out of reach. So close. It looks like me when I was trying looks to like cut a nice the rock. One. Um, so we'll shift for that one okay. and or the ones above it. Okay. Getting close. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. Be pretty, be loose. Yes. Yeah. That looks good, I think. A little spin. Don't be flat. Don't be uh, flat. <laughs> just going to pick up first. Sure. Because we're yeah. getting too close to the cliff yeah. anyway. Yeah, so if this can. one's no good, we'll have to go do to something a different else spot. anyway. Yep. All right, go ahead and come up a few meters there. All right, I'm gonna. This rock here. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks like a much better yeah, one. It does look good. Get on something over here. get on this feature that DVL can live with. All right. Okay, spin. Yeah, that looks good. Let's take it. <clears throat> All right. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Um, well, it looks like it's going in the, one of the big boxes, though. Yeah, okay. It's not huge, but I think it's too big for the small ones. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Or it can go in uh, the front. Side is fine for now. Okay. Um just known from imagery. Okay, so we can, um, I guess just do ship moves. I'll just call 30 meters, yeah. wait till the swing. And it might take, see where we're at. Yeah, it might take me a little bit to like, um, get the hang of like how long it takes for it to swing so we might be a little slow but okay at least then we can <laughs> yeah we can and we'll also see how much see. how much we're seeing and yeah sounds good yeah and if that doesn't work out very well I'd suggest just going steady at point two so it's all we're if all we're looking at is doing zooms and grabbing mm -hmm. rocks yep we don't need as much time okay yeah. Bridge nav, can we do another three zero meters at two two five and point two knots? 
Yeah. Uh, point two knots. Guess yes. At the steps, since there have been so few dives in this area at the steps, we will probably do, be doing more collections, I guess, with arm in easier places if we can. Um, but yeah, for now we can continue as before. This is like payback for our last watch being so good. I don't know, it's still no pretty good. It's exciting. <laughs> we're, we're figuring stuff out about current sub build. We are seeing stuff that's worth sampling. <laughs> We have gone like one square meter <laughs> and uh, <laughs> already zoomed on plenty. Hey, we, we're actually we have, seeing a lot of things. Like yeah. during the rock collection, I I didn't want to talk, but there were <laughs> some tunicates, there were um, fish. I would say we have sand and some of the jar. Yeah, 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 yeah we, we have, have sand, sand in the jar. <laughs> yeah. Something. <laughs> there, it looked like there were dead foraid sponges. Around like when we Those picked stocks, up that rock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I saw that too. I ain't complaining. Mm -mm. Oh, there looks like there's a shrimp in the jar. Oh, there's no a way. little shrimp <laughs> in the jar. Oh, sorry, buddy. Look. Oh, that must have been the bystander shrimp. Look, even better, we caught we caught a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to label the shrimp as a uh, sample. Mm. You know, now that we have it, <laughs> we're going to take it. Um, so I guess we might as well, yeah, label it as associate from unknown coral. So, okay. Shrimp associate from unknown coral, in parentheses, not collected. And that'll be 154. And you have that waypoint one-ish point. Yeah, I'll just I'll or change from the name of it. If I can. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a sample log of that. There's also some sort of like orange jelly thing in Atalanta Cam at one point. I think I saw that. Yeah. So for those of you who are tuning in or watching our live stream, uh, you may notice that there are two green dots in our satellite view one. And those two green dots help us with measuring things. So they are about 10 centimeters apart. And we able to get a rough size estimate when we zoom in or zoom out. And yeah, it just helps us with when we're looking at little evident, like little interesting things under the ocean to see how it fits within or outside of that 10 centimeter boundary. It's just like uh, looking at a scale on a map. So our dive today is probably one of our deepest ones on this expedition. Mm -hmm. We are about 3,100 meters below the ocean surface. Yeah, and there have been very few dives at the depth in this region of the Pacific. And, uh, and that means that a lot of what we're seeing uh, bio-wise could be very new. So that's exciting. Whether we just document it or collect it. What you looking at over there, Sarah? It looked like there's something right there, but could be a rock, could be sediment. I don't see what you're seeing. Okay. But we can look. Maybe it's... It Go ahead and zoom. Is that a slope to our five? Or six? Uh, six. Six. Got it. I see nothing. I also see nothing now. Sorry, it kind of looked like something was sticking up. All right. It's all right. No harm. No harm. Could be a could be that coral again. <laughs> and for 
for those of you who are looking for live data, it is back up on our website. If you refresh the page, it should be up there right now. There's a fish in the distance. Is there mm -hmm. another tripod fish? I saw, I've seen a couple now. Yeah, and that one looked really different. Looking at the guy, it, it did look, look it like was, it. It was not as dark. It's kind of lighter. And was it spotted, or was that just its scales? Because it kind of looked spotted. I know what you're talking about. I think it was just its scales. Like, like you the, see how some of them have mm. like something running down the side, but I could totally be wrong. And the tripod fish often are deeper. Go ahead and zoom. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that one's facing a different direction. Yep. Full wide. So I'm reading more about the tripod fish's cool fins, and we were talking the other day, Megan was saying about how those those are modified fins that kind of stick up like antennae, antenna from, from the top. Those are modified uh, pelvic and caudal fins, and apparently actually if maybe we, we would have, we saw this as one swam away the other day, but as they swim away, those uh, antenna fins kind of become like limp they don't stay that um, stiff, and and we're not quite sure how that functions, but it, but it could be because they pump water into those to kind of make them tense like that. Um, but they and they're eyeless, so they they can't see at all, um, and they use those as their sort of tactile sensory f feeding or um, yeah feeding aid uh, limbs. So that's pretty cool. So, like, when I look at them, we're talking about tripod fish, right? Yeah, yeah. When I look at them, it looks like they have, like, an eye spot. Is that vestigial? Yeah, yeah, so they must not use that huh. at all. Hmm. That's neat. Oh, up here. What you see? Branch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something. Something. Might be another one of those C pins. Maybe with another Maybe. opioid friend. Okay, go ahead and zoom. With really long tentacle I mean arm mm -hmm. that's something we that's different yeah 
I was going to say, since we've seen a few of these, would it be possible with the grab, mm -hmm. is this a good spot to arm collect that? Yeah, well, like we can do yeah. snips, right? Yeah, we can just snip from the bottom. Yep, full wide. Are we snipping with the um, main arm? Or is there a smaller yes. one? Yes, with okay. the main arm. That's the only snip we got. Figured there would be like, you know, we'll whip out some scissors or something and just uh, cut it. Yeah, we're going to use the arm to operate there, scissors. There are scissors on it. That's why uh, these jaws are so goofy. Every time they open up, they're like a, a kind of a flip-top affair. Um, <laughs> the reason for it is there's a, there's a cutter in the middle. So it makes doing everything else pretty awful, but we can get, we can get cuts. As soon as I fire up the arm, the whole thing just mm. moves around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right from around the base or as far as you can get down right is from great. the base. trying to get a bit more but that's great that's perfect we can porch it or toolbox it toolbox coming out mm, i guess let's go for omega not really ideal to put with the with the other one Okay, close that. And what so kind of C pin did we say this I was I think again? maybe the same one we saw before, this one. Um, and with Ophiroid Associates. We probably got, I don't know, maybe like 30 centimeters, hard to tell, 20 something centimeters. Decently long, 20, 25. And is that one five five? Yes. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome. Actually, you think too big for the little ones? For the little ones, I think so. Yeah, let me know. Take it out. Uh, it might way. go in. No, it'll go in that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Kay. try it. I don't know about that. Yeah, I might regret it's that. It's gonna get stuck. <laughs> get stuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, let's do E. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Okay. Close box. And Cheyenne, we can get the ship moving. Awesome. Um, sonar dime is happy now, and the ship move was good. So great. Oh, it's not happy again. Uh, I think we should be fine. I'll text Lynette Just call in the ship trips. move. Yeah. Bridge now.
And you can just keep us moving, Cheyenne, unless we uh, need to stop for something longer. Also, Cheyenne, that was um, sample number 153. All right. Good catch, Loopy. All right. Well, I guess we'll have some time to poke around a little bit. One fifty three. All right, turning my heading. <clears throat> oh, already seeing some fish. I think another halosaur, probably. Mm -hmm. Noodly one. Up a little bit. Yeah, go ahead, yep, yep. And you can go ahead and zoom on this critter. Oh, it looks like it has a bifurcating tail. I think it's a oh shadow. Oh, no, it's a shadow. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a halosaur. It's a big yeah. one. Yeah, it's a halosaur. Cool. I think we're good here. Thank you. Okay, pull wide. Now we play the game of dead stock. Or well, that's coral. something there. Yeah, could we look at that? That's actually I th <laughs> where we were earlier. Uh, well, where we were trying to get into, I think. Or no, nope, it can't have been. That was different than we've seen a Do few. Do you want to zoom in there? Yeah, if we could have a quick little zoom. Go cool. ahead, Amber. Looks like some sort of sponger over there. I don't see what you're looking at yet. There's though. something down there and another thing oh, up there. Oh, down there. Oh, I see that. Okay. Go ahead and zoom. Well, it's a um. It's growing out of the sand, so I don't know some kind of sea pen, maybe with a yeah. brittle star, with brittle star associates. But it also it looks like there's one long tentacle that must be arms of brittle stars yeah. stretched all mm -hmm. the way out that's pretty cool wow yeah big okay. long stretch great cool. could we take a look at what's in the top left if possible top left can you mark it again uh yeah it's just out of view right now to the left There. All over here. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might be the same thing. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Mhm. Mm yep. Same thing. Yep. Good to look. Some <coughs> sort of C pen. And same brittle star associates. Mhm. Mm Oh, and another <coughs> one of those dead sponge stalks. I'll be interested to see if we find those. I feel like these we've seen mostly dead on all our dives. We've yeah. seen fewer living of those sponges. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Okay, we, we can, can ID from pictures. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at those polyps.
Turn up to lid, maybe? Uh-huh. This part up to lid, part up to lamb. Uh, yeah, that looks right to um, me. With the same brittle star associates. Yep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this one, right? This one, loopy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just panning around is great, Hannaford. We'll see if we see anything. Oh, some sort of thing floating by. Very briefly. Can we pan to the right a What's little that? bit? Maybe some... No. Wow. Cheyenne, when you have a moment, would you mind zooming out on high pack for me, please? I think you're not on SPL or, yeah. Okay, I see what you've got us doing, thank you. something here sure that could be a ledge actually but I don't know it kind of looks like a tripod fish but I don't know if they get this deep would be interesting to know mm-hmm it looks like it is it does sort of look like one are you noticing a current direction right now or any current if there's just much of anything I'll stop up here there's, it's definitely mild but um, it looks like it's what, coming yeah. from the... Yeah, I can't tell from the snow, it's kind of floating a bit. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. It's yep. very weak, whatever it is. Okay. Go ahead and zoom. Hmm, yeah. It does look like a tribe. Oh, yeah. Odd fish. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's hard to see. It looks like it's standing it's up. It's modified at least, yeah. pectoral fin things, but I think that that is one. Yeah, this is like a baby tripod fish. I or don't know that it would be a baby tripod fish. Just a tripod fish. They can get pretty small. Is it pointing in a direction of the current still? Yeah, they generally do. Yes. Yeah, it's a kind of mild current. I don't know. It's pointing away from oh the yeah. slope, so that's probably helpful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see from the side. Oh, um, cool. That's an interesting, it looks a little different than the ones we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a different angle we've viewed it at. Pretty. It looks so unconcerned by us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, like again, I think it sees very poorly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are we good? Yep. That's good. Okay, full wide.
Can we see if that's something right there? Anemone, maybe? Just had like <clears throat> three little 12, over 12 spikes in a row. Yeah. Go ahead and zoom. It almost looks like it's reflected. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like two polyps. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight. What? Octocoral of some kind. Maybe. Is it on a little rock? There's I, three of them. Are there three? There's, yeah, so one, two, three. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What is that? Is it an enemy? No, 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 I think it's a soft coral, maybe? Huh. Um, huh. Hold quick there. I don't know if that's something worth collecting. I don't recognize that. What's steering you away from it being an anemone? Uh, the number of tentacles around the polyp. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it looks kind of almost like a mushroom coral a little bit. It's got three but different polyps. No, it looks like there's no like central thing though. You know? Like there's no like, like central there's mouth like in a in yeah. an anemone, yeah. Or no, I mean like, um, you know how the polyps like retract it on each other? One yeah, of those but last ones it's hard almost. to see, you know. I have 13. Could just be embedded. Um, could we maybe okay, collect copy this? that. Sure. Um, full wide down. for a minute. I'll come down a little too. Yeah. Is the ship moving? S stop it up, please. I gotta be on this rock. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we placed the coral in such a an inconvenient yeah. spot. How could we? All right, this might work. What do you think in a slurp? Um, it's quite small, but I don't know that it's small enough for a slurp. Uh. Yeah, I guess our alternative there is grab or we could slurp in place. Slurp in place might work, but yeah. then again, I don't know what what is, what is the nature of it? Is it going to just <laughs> Yeah. tear apart and go in the jar? I don't think it should tear apart. All right. Maybe That's when the polyps retract, it will actually be small enough to get up. Either way, it sounds like we're starting with the slurp. Let's start with the slurp. Okay, can we get the slurp jars going? Yep. So flush. Yeah, so first let's see if we can, if it's polyps will retract when we kind of get near it and maybe it'll be slurpable. Here we go. Not a lot of action. Seventy right now. Turn it up. There we go. That's seventy. All right. Yeah, that doesn't look good. 
And it might not be fully oh, aligned. Right. Um, also, it's the depth, right? I mean, I don't know if the pressure at this depth. The pump should be fine. Rotating that carousel around might not be. Um, um, and the valve is wide. The flow on the valve is wide open. There's not much else we can do. Um, rotate. Turn the pump off. Rotate off that. Uh, what jar do you want it into? Uh, one is fine. Or actually, sorry, seven, because uh, we'll one. keep the fine mesh for other, seven. other samples. I think that's lined up. Like, run yeah. the pump again now. Yeah. We. Or not. I can't remember if it was. Yeah. You or Dan or it might have been Dan. Someone was telling me something about it being a different valve and it not being as good at. No, it's As new. strong at this uh at this depth. Um, turn the pump off for a minute. Okay. Off. Let me just play with this. We're going to have to come up and come yep. back to this to get too close to the close. cliff here. Uh, yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, come on up a bit. Coming up. I don't know if we can mark that spot, if we'll find it again. Uh, yeah, put if a you could drop a point, please, Cheyenne. All right, that's looking better. We'll just wait for the ship to come back. and In All the right. meantime, I'll play with these jars. Sure. Did you put a point down in high pack? Uh, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, this needs to be addressed. The other, the old valves must have been higher flow valves. I These ones are all like wide open now and they're just, this Yeah, is it. I think that's what Dan was explaining and that it just can't handle no. this depth. No, but this is not that deep, so it has to be addressed. New build. Bugs. Yep. Uh, how about six? Could you live with six? Yeah, yeah. Same mesh, right? Yep. So I see water going in it now, but it's just very weak flow, looks like. Yep. I guess we definitely shouldn't try slurping anything up it. Um, we might, I don't know, maybe even a, a light grab with the fingers at the edge would be our, a better bet. If you think that's possible. I don't that's know. That's not this really possible. That's not, that's very, there's no control to get it to like lock in the middle. So it's, mm. and it's such a squishy thing. Mm -hmm. It's just going to eventually close on it or I'll drop it. Okay. Um, I could try it. Like if we want to, it'd have to go in the front box just to limit the time. Yeah, yeah. But, um. Um, okay, we can try try picking up with slurp. It doesn't seem like it'll really even pick up with that. But yeah, we'll test it in we'll the sand it. next to it or something. Um, but I think, I don't know if I'm... That's it for sample jar, yeah. Mm. 
Have you got the ship moving still? So can you, it's just going this way, right? Yeah, yeah, bring it back this way. Uh, we're just getting pulled too far apart. Just, just leave it. It'll come back when the. Can you zoom right in on high pack? Show me where that waypoint is that you dropped. I think it was, yeah, right below us in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably find enough things in that time to sample or look at. It's 
So where is the waypoint? Yeah, I think it's at the base of what we're looking at now. Zoom right in on it. Is there a waypoint in there? Yeah, waypoint one. Okay. It's waypoint one, that's what it, yeah. Okay. They had to move the ship back. Just a quick update for anyone watching. We're just waiting to move the ship back and then we'll continue. Yeah, it should be about, about there now where we can start looking again. TBD though, sometimes you know you feel like you haven't gone far, but you will never find that thing again. No, so I don't think we're ever gonna find it. Okay. We will try. What is that right there in the middle? We're coming back right right around it now according to the nav position. Yeah, what's this? Uh, what's that? Go ahead, zoom in there. It's gonna be pretty uh, lumpy. Um, we're, we're looking around for this, uh, coral at the moment. It was not that. There you go wide. It was, there was something in the middle of the sand patch. Uh, oh, that's something else. And it wasn't that thing, right? No, it wasn't here. Okay. Yeah. We would have remembered it's that. It's going to go back thing. closer to the sure. waypoint. Sure. To the left. Or back, I guess it's backing up. Mm hmm. Should be right over here. Trying to compare if everything rocks were perfect. The pictures. Yeah, I know. It's, it's difficult. Oh. Hmm. Should be like here ish. I'm just going to pull back. Yeah. Just come up come a little on. bit on Atlanta. I'm going to. Yeah, let's only spend a couple more minutes invested in this. Maybe a loss.
we could be so close, but there's no way to know. No. Also, with it having no pigment, yeah, that's it's tough. really not that's colored tough, at all. I think. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll. If see we could another. back up just a teeny bit, and then if it's not like right around there, then we'll call it. Nope, it could be right in front of us. We probably wouldn't even see it. <laughs> I was about to say. Uh, okay, all right. We can carry on then. Rip. That's okay. That's The coral lives another day. Yeah. What was that, Loopy? I can't hear you. I was thinking maybe this, because like, if you see this rock, you see that one right there? I know, I'm looking. Oh, wait, it does look exactly like that. Wait, hold on. Is it right there? Is that it? I think oh, that is it, because those two rocks... Oh, yeah, good I eye. Was it. I was say, because those are two I rocks... I was like, I'm looking at the same picture as you. I'm like, that rock does look just yeah, like that. Yeah, I was say, that rock looks <laughs> just like that rock. Oh, nice, nice He's one. literally that's saying it could be right in front of us. <laughs> Real neat. And, that's and you know what's funny is I was staring at that thing as I said it, but I was like, that can't be. That's funny for me not to have my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy said, y'all are blind. <laughs> Still so many barriers to this collection. <laughs> I know, I Deal know. with the sample machine. <laughs> and there it is. We found it. <laughs> Almost looks like a spider down there. All right. Uh, uh, let's go suction pump on 30. Okay. Okay, so either way, this thing is going to go in the porch if we can get it, either by light, right up to 30. by quick grab, or by and suction. Then I'm just going to try like a yeah. little bit of sand. Yeah. Just zoom in there, video. Put it to 50. To 50. There we go. I don't know. It's not doing anything. 70 or 100. All right. We're going up. There's a little bit. There's a little. Yeah. Uh, I'd say the jar is not. Okay. Just, just turn the pump off. Sorry, what? It's off. Uh, pay out a couple of meters on Atalanta. Okay. I wouldn't say so. But it's also in the sand, so I have no idea. Okay. Okay, does it retract immediately if we poke it? All right. I can't do much with those jars. I think if we can, like, yeah, we can go poke it and then yeah. if we can get some suction on it and put it in a box, that yeah. might be the only thing that's... Yep, let's just try it. Let's just see what okay. happens if we poke it. Poke. Oh wow, it doesn't care at it all. It doesn't care. <sighs> okay, you want to try suction on? Yep. All right, all suction right. on, I don't know, start at 50. Okay. To 50. Oh. Mm. 70? Okay. <laughs> Hundred and going for it. Oh, well, we got back, some suction back in to there. seventy. Okay. Oh, they got uproot the guy. Yeah. All right, keep it on hundred, maybe. No, if that's seventy, that's okay. That's seventy. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, she's going. She's going. All right. Oh, uh, oh. Almost. That's just filling up. None of that is going in the jar, though. I, if we can unroot it, though, it looks promising. We might be able to place that into the... Yeah. Oh, so close. Oh, he's oh, scared of shrimp her. bailing. She's not trying to get caught up. <laughs> Sees what we're doing. <laughs> True bystander. Oh. Oh. Nope, what about a scoop? Yeah. Sure. Well, you uh, can you still it. get at that scoop? Yeah. Oh no! Nope. I, it fell apart. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it came apart. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just a second. Full wide here. Sub is all, all over the place. Um. Well, looks like all the sand went to the jar. <laughs> did it? Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, I say the sand went in the jar. <laughs> Surprised that it didn't get filtered through. Yeah, I have like no hydraulic pressure here. Uh, turn the pump off. Okay. Oh, there's sand in the jar now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked that didn't just go through. Did you like scoop it with the I mean, slurp? Trying to resituate. I think we yes, might. We have all kinds of problems today. There's no, for some reason, we're dumping a lot of hydraulic pressure. Like every time we run the arm or anything, is everything dumps. So the sub's not like holding itself down. Could you log that loopy? Mm Okay, is partial zoom there? Really in there. We didn't we didn't pick it up, right? Jesus. No. Full wide. You said a lack of power. I'm going to come down more since we're stretched out. Uh, Yeah, you can, but yeah. you're already down pretty good. That'll yeah. help. Yeah. That's not going to help these hydraulic issues, unfortunately. Can you keep keep that bubble cam on the uh, okay. gauges? I don't need it as long as we get that pilot cam there. Generally, okay. pretty good. I don't know. Did it go up there? I didn't think it did. I don't think so, no. Uh. Um, yeah, we can give it another try. If it's not possible, we can move on. This kind of stuff is going to affect us for the whole dive. Yeah, though. We don't have enough pressure to even keep the sub down here. That's what I was thinking, is if nothing else, we're at least seeing what our sampling limitations are. Okay, suction on, and uh, partials, jeez. All right.
now I have full pressure. Yeah, Leela, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. That's okay. You know, yeah. I mean, like major. We yeah. We have like numbers probably don't mean much to you, but we only have like 900 psi pressure, which is like useless. It can't. Okay. The pump can't. Nothing will work, right? Well, that's good to know for future sampling. So, what do we think that means at this depth? Like, what what are our capabilities? Uh, in general. I don't know. Like, if I, if I can turn the arm off, it'll. It might be something. I think the relief valve might be like shuttling so if i can get the arm off then uh -huh. i can get it it's just using everything at once but that's essentially right. like how we sample how right we sample yeah um we got the rock all right i mean did you notice then drift i think it was a bit of an easier place to sit and right. it's not the time and then we're not running the suction pump at the same time right okay you all right know? so it seems like slurp is probably out until we're quite slurp a bit slurp is a nuisance because yes and then and then the jars like i can't get the jars to rotate yeah. anymore either yeah okay all right well then grabs only for now yeah sounds good sorry about that no that's fine good to know what you know what limitations there are what we what our options are Yeah, we got good footage of it. <laughs> no, it is helpful, yeah. Yeah, all of that is helpful. Mm -hmm. Some and of the stuff in the guide do. has never been collected or, you know, is. So looking in the still cam, which I'm aware that not everyone can see, um, I'm seeing that there's a lot of, like, brittle stars that are just kind of encrusted in the rock. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of brittle stars mm -hmm. wedged up in every little crevice. Maybe some tube worms on the rocks. Mm. Um, something up here. Maybe a sponge. Or a tiny cup coral? I don't know. It's quite. Well, Amber, can we get the stills cam on this small gauges one here? You got it. Thank you. We're just IDing from past pictures as we, uh, as we go along. Hi, 12 to 4s. Hi, Megan. 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 Can I come hang with you guys for a little bit? Woo. Welcome. Thanks. There's a lot of stuff that's small and blends in. Mm -hmm. yes. Is this something? Maybe. Mm. Looks like it. <laughs> Looks like below it Go is another zoom. thing. Yep. If, if that's not a thing, at least below it, it is a thing. I think below it is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> An enemy. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Tube anemone? That's mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Yep. Should be good there. Thank you. Roger. Full wide. Let's see. Oh, 
I know. This is really the game of, is it a rock? Yeah. <laughs> is it sediment? Or is it a living organism? Yeah, I feel like our eyes aren't trained for animals at 3,000 meters. We've no. Been, no. Haven't been hanging out at this depth, but excited to be here now. Yeah. Cheyenne, can you give us a little orientation to the feature? Oh. Where are we along the side of it? Dark something there. And where are we headed? Yeah, of course. So we are exploring a seamount. So it Zoom has in there. a pointy oh, yeah. top. Um, this seamount is pretty long, so it kind of looks like a mountain range that runs like east to west. So we oh. didn't start what? directly at the base. We started oh. a little bit um, up the base. So we're still heading towards the top. Um, at the end of this 22 hour dive, hopefully we'll be at the top. But right now we're still oh, pretty far okay. down. Um, is this a pleurobranch or something? This looks it? exactly oh. like the purple orb, but black. And it, it has, has that little siphony. Little oh yeah, it has little tentacles in the front. Yeah, wow. Um, Do we can think we collect this? Okay. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> So, so what's the, um, what do you? This, this should be able, uh, we can't, we don't have capability of slurp and pick. Um, hmm. We're not in a good spot to even try that, right, Hannaford? Mm. And we can't move the jar anyway. Oh, wait, whatever, the jars don't matter because it would jar, just be picking. Yeah. Could you use the scoop as like a handle the to pick it up? The scoop is broken. Yeah. <laughs> well, could you put it just on like the very tip of the scoop, maybe? And the then scoop is broken, so it's gonna fall. Like ah. it's not gonna stay in the. That's not. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah. It doesn't have anything on the outside of it. So it's just gonna slip around in the jaws, or it's not gonna. This is too delicate to grab. Um, hey. Probably. I don't yeah. know. I don't know the yeah. the thing. Um, we can try like the slurping scoop if you want, but. Um, maybe a quick. Even just to experiment. A to quick like one attempt. Yeah. Just to see if we have the same problems, I'd yes. be interested in. Oh yeah, this isn't rooted, so it wouldn't. Yeah, be like it won't be hard to pick up. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that. That's the issue. It's is that we just start moving right. around right away. Right. Yeah. Squishy. So. Oh, I've never seen these types of. So, we're thinking this is a gastropod. It's running oh, away. It's not a gastropod. It's leaving. Yeah, it's running away. Home. I don't know if this is not a player bag <laughs> then, right? I don't. We'll I don't know what um, it's doing. <laughs> it's it's flying. It's like almost <laughs> like soaring. It's not even moving Come like back. a sea cucumber or mm. nudibranch. Mm. Or <laughs> see where he goes. <laughs> we couldn't see under it. So I wonder like if we can just try and slurp it on the fly here. <laughs> 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 Doubt it. Hey, with that fly. kind of attitude, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know. I believe. Oh my gosh! Look anyway. at it; it's just flying away, with <laughs> not even moving. Like, what it's is it controlling in its body to make itself? Thinking, makes me wonder. Differentially buoyant. Yeah, it was yes. like it makes me wonder if it's a jelly that it just kind of landed in the I sediment. It had Maybe the tentacles it like on the front. It had it two like antennae. Mm -hmm. I know. I was thinking they're antennae, and it had like a valve. <laughs> like an opening. It mm -hmm. did have a, it did have a weird opening too. You're right. That's why I'm wondering what's on the underside. Maybe if nothing else, we can just get a little more footage of it. Ooh, Do you oh want to try and get it with the suction? Oh my gosh, that would be incredible if it lined sure. up perfect. <laughs> Put the pump on like 50 percent. All right. We can't on. rotate the jars though. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's pumps fine. Pumps on. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and still cam, it's just a blob. Yeah, it's so tough to, it's like oh, so absorbent as a light. No. Ah. I wonder. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's off the bottom. Hard oh. to see. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> this it is amazing. 
It almost looks a little translucent. <gasps> oh, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Go down a little on the slurp, or is that fine? Um, put it. What is it on? Put it's it on, on thirty, just in case okay. it it's, it's not going to fall out. I don't think. It's on fifty. <laughs> that right is now. epic. That was <laughs> still good. Uh, okay. You're getting in a better position here. It's on thirty right now. Oh, Roger. Oh. And then where can it go? In porch, it can go. Uh, oh, oh. It can go with the scoop. Mm -hmm. uh, it almost looks translucent. I'm wondering if it could. Oh, oh, it's going, oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh, All right, no. sorry. We should have kept it at fifty. Oh. Uh, oh. Round two. Yeah. We can do it. Now it looks like a All right, back up to fifty. Okay, let's. I have like no flow anymore, and the arms aren't even on. What the hell? Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Here it comes. <laughs> oh. All right, turn that pump off for a second. Oh, okay. She's off. It's really annoying. Can only use like one thing at a time here. Okay, pump on 50. All right, she's on. <sighs> Let's do it, do it, do it, do it. You can do it, Anna Bird. <laughs> no oh, depth perception. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's a bit too big. All right, tool tray out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tool tray's coming up. <laughs> I guess we got to like, really stun the porch <laughs> for you. Do you want me to bring the porch out first? Or um, you yeah, bring the porch out. No, mm -hmm. you can just, hold on, porch out yeah. first. Yep. That's, I'm not. That's just the camera racking. Okay. So porch out. Yeah. Coming out. Okay. And then watch the... Um, Okay, I'll handle all this stuff. Just bring Atalanta up a few meters there. Okay, coming up. We're getting a lot of cheers from the internet. Yeah. Of you. If you're watching on channel three, um, you've got a view of the control van here as we're getting prepped. Um, trying to get the sample secured. <laughs> Okay, is uh, Atlanta's okay? Uh, yep. Now, box out. Box out. Okay, let's put yeah. it in Lambda. Oh, Chow won't come out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it might it might swim away, right? It's not... Uh, yeah, it no, might. I'm, we'll I'm thinking it maybe it can get like caught up in that net somewhere and falls in there. But I say, yeah, unless you put it through like, the circle part of the scoop. At least we can be more aware of it here on the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's getting drawn in. <gasps> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what jar is it let's on? Look at, let's look oh, at the, the jars. jars. All right. <laughs> okay, let me pull up the camera. <laughs> oh, it. Here we go. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's in. Yeah. Is that in six? It's in six. Right, I'm turning yeah. Oh, <laughs> great. Oh, oh that is okay. amazing. So Hey, it all comes job, together. Hamper. So uh, that's fine. It can be in the same jar. Okay. <laughs> I really want to rotate like off that jar away. now, but jar. I couldn't get that's it to work earlier. Let me put the arm back, and we'll try okay. and move it. Number all six. Right. <laughs> wow, <laughs> epic sample collection. <laughs> <laughs> sample of cheese. Okay, so on the vibe slurps, maybe <laughs> option. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, sample. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still feeling molluscan about this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But TBD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Preliminary ID is. All right. Chlorobrine, well, maybe? Well, I don't know. I think it does. Bring up look the flush. Like um, just hold on. Like I got this? that force back in. Okay. It's like a big old. Oh, yeah. One time. And what's a pleurobranch? So, sea slug is the common name for a pleurobranch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, try and get it back on the flush. I don't remember if they have internal shells okay. or absent shell. Um, I don't recall that. I feel like you might remember all this from the purple orb days. No, okay. Let's go. Oh, purple, yeah. Okay. So purple orb was something that looked very similar to this that was collected on a prior expedition. It was. Uh, off the coast of California. Purple and spiky instead of black Emma. and spiky. Mm -hmm. But, but then a, a lot of a lot of discussion afterwards. Yeah. What was the other thing 
that was not yes, plural rank that one, they had. Five, they were six. just sure it was not a plural rank. Was not the a other plural rank. Okay, yeah. okay. Right, one nice. team was sure it was nice. a plural rank. The other team Dual was sure flush. it was not a plural rank. Correct. So, Save that. Oh my gosh, that voice crack. So plural ranks have an internal shell. Internal right. shell, okay. Oh, she's, flush is working okay right now. That's lined up. Yes. Yeah. All right, flush off. That was great. Yeah. Just brought, that was brought great its charms that. to fix the suction sampler for us. <laughs> It did. All right, that's off. All Great right. work, piloting team. Major props the from the internet back. coming in. That was so yeah, exciting. That was fun. A little redeeming from Pat. Well, we still have the same issues, so at least we got something fun. <laughs> <laughs> Noted, same issues. Going up a little. Roger. The issues are what drove us to that, actually. <laughs> I was literally holding my breath, and then I threw my hands up the second time. <laughs> like, <I'm> so <laughs> excited. <laughs> so. I don't watch sports games, but that was pretty much like <laughs> what I felt like. <laughs> Just the like there is there's sports a ball. Huge you want to see this thing? Yes, please. Mm. Mm. Nice eyes. So I'm gonna Sorry, put the I time. Frame for this sample for like when we got it the second time, like round two. Um, you can little. put the whole time, whole right. sampling, that's okay. Got it. Okay, go ahead and zoom. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh huh. Okay. Wow, um, look at this movie. That looks cool. almost so similar to what we saw the first time, except with oh, only one, one polyp and not three. And, and giant huge. size. <laughs> and literally and huge. big, very big. Is there a chance Somewhere. we might want to sample this? Um, uh, I feel like we should move a little bit, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but good to have visuals. Yeah, that's incredible. But that's good wow. footage. So and there's are one. Yeah, these oh, are called pinnate tentacles with the spikes off the side mm -hmm. of them, and it's one of the ways taxonomists determine them. You can see a big fish in the pilot, Herc, pilot light off to the right. Oh. oh. Who's sneaking up on us? Wow. He's slowly sneaking away. All right, awesome. do yeah. I have good imagery? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Where's this fish? Off to your right. Just oh, like yes, yeah. Mm. There he is. Hello. Oh, yeah. Another halosaur, maybe? 